So in this video, I will show you guys how to transfer the contents from your original Sony memory stick onto your new um, memory stick with the SD card adapter. So right here on this PSP, I actually have an 8GB memory stick. It's a pretty good one, but obviously I want to upgrade it to my 16GB micro SD card memory stick. Um, this is the SD card I've got. It's just your basic 16GB micro SD card in there. And um, basically what you want to do, make sure you have this memory stick set up on the PSP. If you guys didn't know, you can actually use multiple memory sticks on one PSP. You just have to format them both with the same PSP and then you will be able to use them on there so both of these memory sticks are formatted and set up with this PSP this one is full of games and files this one is completely blank if you'd like to see how to set this up and um, you can actually watch my last video on my channel that will show you how to do it and um, I link make sure to link that video in the description so you guys can check it out first of all I'm just going to plug in this um, memory stick and I'm going to show you guys everything that's on there so once you've plugged it in, the memory stick will actually scan and appear. And if I just go onto it, you guys will be able to see that there is tons and tons of games, ISO games, homebrew apps, all of that kind of stuff, even custom firmware over on this PSP. If I just scroll along and go into the system settings and the system information, you guys will be able to see that I'm on um, 6.61 Pro C custom firmware, um, which is, I'm pretty sure it's actually permanent on this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this and I'm going to prove to you guys that there is nothing on this now just wait for it to scan and as you can see it's 14 gigabyte but there is nothing in there so what you guys want to do is make sure your SD card with the adapter in is disconnected so make sure this one is disconnected this is the one with the SD card adapter and make sure your original memory stick is now plugged in so with the PSP with your original memory stick, what you actually want to do is you want to scroll over and you actually want to go onto the settings. Now from here, you want to scroll down and you want to press X on USB connection. With this PSP, what we actually have to do is connect this to our PC via USB connection. So that means this um, USB up here, you will plug this into the top and then the other side will have a USB and this will actually be connected to your computer. With the micro SD card, what you want to do, take this, you want to remove the micro SD card inside and you actually want to put this into a micro SD card adapter. Now this adapter is also going to be plugged into your PC. So we're going to have this and the PSP plugged into the PC at the same time. I'm just going to go on my computer and I'll show you guys how we can set this up. So whatever operating system you're using, make sure to open up the file explorer. I'm on Windows 10, so it's really easy for me. And we can see we've got both of the SD cards here. So we've got the official PSP one, and now we've got a micro SD card. You can tell the difference. Obviously, this one is blank and 16 gig, and this one's 8 gig, and um, it's got a ton of stuff on there. So what we want to do is we want to go onto the SD card E, and you can find everything that's on here. But at the top, you want to click on View if you're on Windows 10, and you want to click on Hidden Items. From here, we want to select everything on here, and we are going to drag and drop this onto F. So simply drag and drop it just like this. Now, first of all, it's going to scan everything, and now it's going to start copying everything. So keep in mind, 7,000 items for me. It's quite a big file for me, so I'm going to have to wait a while for this to copy across. Uh, but basically, all you guys do is wait. If your SD card is smaller, maybe some of the old ones are really small. Like, I've got one right here on my desk. This one is only 512 megabytes. So if your one is small like this it's going to take you know not as long um, right here this can take quite a while for me as you can see it's literally going to scan everything and it says it's going to take about one hour and 15 minutes which is quite a long time but I'm just going to wait for this and I will be back once this is done Okay guys, so now I'm back. I don't think that took exactly an hour, I'm not too sure. But you might get um, some kind of like um, notification just like this, and it says the destination has four files with the same name. So you can click let me decide for each file, and um, for me, they're pretty much random files. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do replace the files in the destination. It's gonna overwrite them, and then there you go. We have now got um, SD cards, but they're exactly the same. As you can see, um, we've got two of them, and they should have all of the stuff on. They should have even copied across your ISO games, which is perfect you can now go up to view and you can untick hidden items and there you go so what we're going to do now we're going to put our 16 gigabyte sd card in and hopefully everything should be working 
Alright guys, so we're now back off the computer, I can take out my micro SD card, I can put this back into the adapter, and on my PSP, you can leave it turned on, you can actually just take out your um, old um, memory card, and we can actually just swap them around. So let me just take this one out, there you go, 8GB, I um, don't really need this anymore, I probably will use it still, it's a pretty good memory card, um, considering it's 8GB, and then of course, we've got a brand new one, 16GB, pretty nice upgrades, so we're going to go ahead and put this in as well. Of course, you can use bigger SD cards if you like and um, the PSP does support up to 256 so if you want one of those cards you can go ahead and use it let's press circle to go back let's scroll over let's go on the uh, memory card it actually hasn't appeared if it hasn't appeared um, and you're still waiting for it you can actually turn your PSP off and then on again and hopefully it will actually display Okay, so I just powered mine off and on quickly, and as you can see, our memory stick is now appearing. So what you can do, you can press X on it, and as you can see, it's a complete clone of our original one, and homebrew apps and games should work. Um, like this one, Tekken, um, custom firmware, if you had it permanent, it will just work um, straight away, just like this. If you had it not permanent, you can just launch it again anyway, um, it doesn't really make a difference. And yeah, we can save and everything, and all your games will work, so there you go guys, that is how you copy the files from your old memory card onto your brand new SD card and um, it works every time so that's pretty much it if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like leave a subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one